Mike get uh, the defensive effort tonight you had to be really pleased, pleased with, especially keeping them off that three-point line? We, we were solid, you know, right from the start. Um, you know, I thought we did a great job on their perimeter play, you know, the, because they're so good, you know, in terms of penetrating the basketball and making plays off the bounce. And I thought we did a great job in moving our feet and keeping them in front of us. And, and then we did it for 40 minutes, and that was kind of nice to see. Why do you think your defense just looked so much better tonight than, than the first game? Was there anything in particular? I thought you... our defense was pretty good in the first game, too. Okay. <laughs> well, no, we let, just. Let me phrase it this way. How, how good did you think it was tonight? It was, it was great all the way through for 40 minutes. I thought we played 28 minutes the other night. You know, we were up 20 with, tw with uh, 12 on the clock, I believe it was, um, the other night. And then we got comfortable and. And, and they were able to get back into the game. I thought tonight we just sustained it all the way through. Coach, talk about your team's shot blocking performance and defense in the paint. Well, again, I mean, race and Trace has a lot, a lot to do with that. I think Trace had about seven blocks tonight. And I mean, they're just being active, man, and we're going to need that. You know, I mean, um, you know, Big Mike having him back tonight, he's a good shot blocker as well. And Geronimo, as athletic as he is, he's capable of blocking shots too. So, you know, I just thought tonight it was a total team effort. I thought everybody that played tonight, you know, gave us effort and did exactly what we asked them to do, which was kind of nice to see. I don't know if you think about it as sort of a defined second unit, but I mean, what does it say for some of the guys that you're pulling off the bench that it felt like Defense and rebounding in particular, kind of no matter what five was out there, the switches were clean. It seemed like guys were communicating well, and you know, statistically, the defense never really regressed. Well, you know, again, you know, a lot of that is the work you got to give them credit because they, they've been working, man, over these last six months that we've been together. And, um, you know, our defense has always been a little bit ahead of our offense, but um, it's just nice to see, man. I, I can't promise minutes to anybody, man, but I always tell these guys, whatever minutes you get, you make it the most important minutes to help us win basketball games, and that's what they're doing right now. Alex? We've seen Trace a lot in the past, you know, score a lot of points, but it seems like these first two games, rebounding and blocking shots, he's been better than he was last season. Is that something that you've really emphasized to him, and have you, how much have you seen him grow in those areas since, since you started working with him? Well, again, you know, it goes all the way back to the beginning when we when we sat down, you know, and he decided that he was going to stay on board. You know, I showed him a lot of the things that I thought he can, the areas that I thought he could be better. And he's really been working in, in those areas. I mean, he's improved a lot, man. He really has. And um, a lot of it is, you know, when you're coaching young players, you know, they think that they play hard. And I've always thought there's always another level that a player can get to. And, you know, from a coaching standpoint, that's what we're trying to push these guys to continue to play at a high level and play harder. Coach, back here. Uh, in the first game, it was Xavier and Trace who scored in double figures. In this one, Race Thompson also scored in double figures. Who would you like to see take that next step? Kind of well, again, I mean, we scored 85 points tonight, and everybody had their hands in that, which is all right with me. You know, I mean, it, you know, we don't have a team that, you know, I can sit here and tell you guys that this guy's going to get 30 tonight and this guy's going to get 20. We're not built like that, you know. It's got to be a total team effort across the board on both ends of the floor. Uh, Dustin. The, that second group you had out there were Finnessy, uh, Tamar, Trey, Jordan, and Michael, I guess. One, how much time have they had to spend together? Obviously, Tamar and Michael have been dealing Not with Not a lot. Days. And what did you like about <laughs> what do you like about that lineup and what yeah. did you think they did well tonight when they were out there together? Well, they, they haven't played. spent a lot of time together. You know, this is Mike's first game back and he's probably been practicing now about a week and a half coming back. But and Tamar too, he's he hadn't been out there very much uh, uh, this season. But, you know, what I did like, they were poised. And from a defensive standpoint, they, they stayed the course in terms of our coverages. And when you do that, that lets me know that 
you're listening and you're doing all the necessary things to help us win. And then offensively, they shared the ball. I mean, it was kind of nice to see how they played offense, which was kind of nice. Mike and Kevin. Coach, Ray said yesterday you guys were focused a lot on improving the tempo of the offense, both full court and in the half court. How do you feel like that progressed from game to game? Well, it was better tonight. Um, again, we didn't have that that uh, moment where we just went stale. You know, I thought the ball moved. They forced our hand a little bit by pressing, so it gave us an opportunity to push the ball and, and get – quick strikes that way, which I'm fine with that as well. But I thought tonight we really did a pretty good job executing in the half court game. Yeah, Coach, getting back to the defense, um, I think NIU didn't score its first field goal in the second half until about like the 12.35 mark. Was there kind of a reinforcement or reminder in the locker room at well, halftime about what happened? We talked about it. You can rest assured. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, that was probably the main topic, you know, in terms of how we – we played the first game, and you know, I just told them we just we can't have that letdown. You know, when you got somebody down, you got to consistently play the way you got the lead, and I thought we did that. Final question, Mike. Coach, uh, it seems like with Xavier and Rob, you have two guys that kind of bring different things to the table, but complement each other at, at point. Does that give you a lot of flexibility within the game? It does, because um, we can play them both together when teams play small ball with smaller guards, uh, both guys can defend, both guys can initiate our offense. So that's a bonus for me, you know. And then I got Christian over there that I got faith in too, if, you know, if I got to throw him in because he's coming as well. All right, Coach, thank All you. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. I just got one thing.